Everyone smile for the camera. Recite the poetry regarding one of your YouTube community posts. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Try picking me. Very well, Darren. Thank you, Mrs. Callison. Come up to the front, Darren. Darren, I can't wait to hear your poem. So do I. I can't wait to hear your story, Pipster. All right, everyone, stay quiet as Darren recites his YouTube community post poetry. Everyone who wants to recite can do so. Go ahead, Darren. Ahem, okay. I will read this post before my main channel's hiatus out loud. Listen carefully, I know I'm not going to mention what has been happening on this channel, but over the past three months, I've been encountering some very negative reception on some of my recent pieces of content, such as dislike bombs, negative comments, and lots more. Part of me has thought for an unknown reason that it would still continue. And this led me to one moment. I have made a tough, difficult, but reasonable decision to go on a three-month hiatus from this channel in order to get my mind focused on so many peaceful things that are imaginable to me, such as awesome gameplays, focusing on my personal life, and most importantly, going on the safe side of surfing the web, meaning I'll just watch YT videos, download nostalgic content from the Wayback Machine, and of course, doing what I think is safe to do on the internet instead of just going my way through communicating with friends I usually talk to. In that case, my personal secretary, Ansley Ross, will take charge of my main channel during the hiatus, and can I be honest here? I'm really starting to get burned out from participating and attending in my friends and pioneers live streams, and just talking and texting to commonly known people, however, it interferes with my concentration on other things that need me for many parts. I'm probably just gonna have to back off of doing that during the whole three month hiatus of this channel you've subscribed to since September 24, 2013. Here we are today, the experience of communicating with people in groups, servers, and stuff like that has turned into a very toxic point, which really impacted my mental health and my HSP on so many levels. Am I going to end it all? No. You're all wrong, it's kinda like swapping things around from my future of Darren Pipster Studios document, but the mind changing is already finished for a good reason. Every day, Ansley will put and give me a daily fortune cookie, just like the talking Angela phone app. Oh, here's another purpose. Loss of safety to post on this channel because first of all, my channel has been at risks of getting terminated after I got two copyright strikes and my fur affinity account getting banned after getting to a fourth level offense. However, those strikes have been removed and my fur affinity account offense level has dropped to zero. Secondly, the most disappointing part is that I have to send my completed video to my cousin Riley or Alexandria Wakefield before uploading it. This is my YouTube channel and this is my fur affinity account. Everyone has their own rights. These rules Clippy the paper it came up with, it just sounds like I don't have the freedom to do what clearly abides by the First Amendment. This is America for the sake of Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, not Microsoft Windows 95 or Mac OS X Black Panther. Alright, that's enough ranting. Now for the dates given on when the hiatus begins and ends at. The hiatus begins on May 31st and will end on August 1st, which means I will not be uploading here nor my main for affinity profile for a temporary period. The point is, I'll try to make as much content as I can in-house until the hiatus ends on the said date. Ansley will give me daily fortune cookies that she can read to me every day during that time. Turns out, TGRE has starred me in my remade TV series, and in that case, I'll try to keep them in safe place, because at some times, I start to get very concerned of where I locate my project files and my fur affinity submissions. You can call my cell phone number at 970-635-3974. It sometimes happens quite often when I save files while I'm on certain programs, such as Sony Vegas Pro 14.0 and Adobe Animate. 
even paint on Microsoft Windows XP Professional, my favorite operating system in the universe, which is my backup computer, and on top of all of this, I've mentioned this before, and I'll say it again. During my three month hiatus, I'm only gonna be doing the safe and easy to concentrate parts of surfing the web. If you think I was diagnosed with cancer, you're all also wrong, so that's all I've got to say. I would like to thank all of my subscribers, my friends, including those who are in my teacher, Mrs. Callison's classroom, and my viewers for their grateful support and the complimenting feedback over the past seven years. All of my content couldn't have been made without my associates and friends' help. It was fun posting on this channel and replying to your feedback while it lasted, but sadly, it's time for me to go. According to Rule 36, nobody resigns unless it happens. It's time for a new era. Thank you all for your cooperation, I really appreciate it so much. It's time for me to move on to a new and much better generation. Shelby, Myla, Taya, David, Phantom, Silver, and Beatrice, thank you for supporting my channel. I'm not leaving YouTube for good, but I can comment on your videos if possible. I will miss you all. But I can see you all in person. Sometimes at school, sometimes at home sometimes anywhere else. I hope to see you all again on August 1st. Dine Tales London Amtrak trains are going to terminate at Chaseville instead of their original terminus during that time. TGRE will make an episode of my series every Friday and Saturday. Hope my life does not end. I am from Grand Junction. The End. Thank you very much for reciting one of your posts, Darren. I know you originated from Grand Junction, Colorado, but you gave everyone your cell phone number. Melsa, I appreciate it if you support Darren Pitster with some of your poetry. And for the most part, boys and girls, I would love to see everyone's poetry. Shelby, you're up next. Today's society is too busy to see meaning in art. Art today is more about beauty than provoking thought. To understand a piece of art is stop and think, and nobody has time to do that anymore, because they are preoccupied with their busy schedules. On the other hand, beauty can be seen in a picture right away without thinking. The primary function of today's artist is to create beauty. People are more affected now by first impressions than by underlying messages. The world is a gigantic, thriving organism, bustling with activity. Everywhere you look, there are people in cars talking on cell phones getting ready for their next event. The only art in their lives are the ads in their magazines and the commercials on their televisions. Can one pack a provoking message into 30 seconds of television or on one page of a magazine? It is possible, but conveying beauty is much easier. All you need for an impacting beer commercial are pretty women holding ice-cold bottles of the liquid. Just take some slow-motion shot of cars splashing through water and you have a high-quality car commercial. Many people are so lazy that the media can only appeal to them through their eyes. Does anyone think beyond the surface of art? A dying percentage does, and those are the professional fine artists and the art historians. Art is no longer the channel through which people pour their thoughts. Therefore, if there is a message you want to convey to the population, writing a book would be a better choice. In that case, Beverly Cleary passed away and Eric Carle did too. They were the best book authors that I've ever heard. The end. Bravo! You were just phenomenal and spectacular. Congratulations on your poetry. And Shelby, I know this is not part of the YouTube community tap poetry, but you recited your poem to the entire class out loud. Thank you, Mrs. Callison. <laughs> Kitty, don't you just love reading Windows XP all in one reference for dummies? I have Virtual PC installed on Windows 10, so I can use Windows XP for general use, Windows 10 for my backup, and Windows NT Workstation 4.0.